Hey, welcome back to Project 128. One of the problems that we contend with with our garden is a thing called the pickle worm. We'll do a brief episode called Revenge of the Pickle Worm and give you a little bit more detail some of the methods we're using to take care of it. But one of our major things that we'll use for the pickle worm and other caterpillars is we use BT, also known as, um, sold as thuricide, sold as worm and caterpillar killer, and this is called vegetable insect attack. These two, first two are liquids, and this other one here is a solid, it's a powder form. DT stands for Bacillus pharyngenesis. And I hope I said that correctly, but uh, it's a uh, bacteria that actually is found in the soil. And what happens as the caterpillars eat it, it goes into their digestive tract, and it basically is something that they can't digest and can't uh, assimilate into their systems, and it kills them. It is organic. And so that's another reason for us to use it. You can use it on vegetables, you can use it on ornamentals. And we're gonna show you how we mix it. And we mix according to instructions. And that's something that's important to do. If you're mixing for vegetables, you usually mix at a, a smaller, lower rate than if you mix for ornamentals. If you're mixing for ornamentals, you usually have a little bit more of the BT mixed in there. And we'll use also the powder a lot of times we'll use when we're doing corn plants for a uh, corn worm that we get there. So first thing we have is we have a one gallon Hudson sprayer and we fill it about halfway. According to the directions, it's going to be one teaspoon of our solution. And so let me go ahead and shake it up because it's been sitting here for a little bit. Shake it up first, make sure it's good mixed. And one, Teaspoon, it's about five milliliters. This stuff is kind of a little bit of a tan beige color, and the uh, thuricide is a really dark green color. So this is a little bit more syrupy also. Now once you have that in there, we go ahead and we fill it up the rest of the way, and this helps to mix it, kind of get it in there into solution for you. This will treat about a thousand square feet of area. So we'll show you how we go ahead and we apply this. Okay, what we're gonna to do too is we wanna shake it up a bit. Make sure it's really good in solution. As you're applying this, you will have to go ahead and continue to shake it every once in a while. Once you mix up a gallon, uh, you wanna use it within 24 hours. You don't wanna sit it out in the sunlight. You want it sitting out. Um, kind of in a cool area, a darker area. We put it in our garage um, until basically we finish using it. Most of the time uh, during the summertime and during the spring, we have a lot more of our plants like our squashes and our pumpkins going. Um, we'll use up the whole gallon really uh, quickly. Again, we usually uh, apply in the evening right before um, sundown, and that way the beneficial insects aren't out and about as much. We don't risk spraying this on them. This is the problem with the uh, any pesticide like the neem oil and the BT. It usually doesn't harm the beneficials because they're not eating the leaves. Um, but you don't want to spray this on them and have this get get on them. So that's why we apply this in the evening because the pickle worm and other caterpillars are usually a moth and they're more active and productive at nighttime. And so we're going to go right behind you here. Still one of our squash plants that we have right now growing, and we're just going to show you how we apply that to our squash plant. Okay, we're going to show you how we apply this to our squash plants. The uh, roosters hear my voice right now, and so they think it's time for feeding. We'll be getting to them shortly. Uh, but with our squash plants and our pumpkins, we usually start in late May. We apply this about once a week to take care of the pickle worm. That's when the pickle worm starts really appearing, appearing here in Central Florida. If you live further up the coast, the United States, then you'll want to check and see and kind of watch your plants and see when the pickle worm starts arriving. And again, for us, it's usually May or June, it starts arriving. So we'll be spraying about once a week once that happens. And what we do is we go ahead and we spray the tops of our plant. And if that's a flower, we make sure it's in the evening now. So we go ahead and make sure we spray the flower. Also, this is the harder part again. You want to get underneath. And when these plants get a lot bigger, that's a lot harder to do. And so sometimes we have to kind of work our way around, go to different sides, back and forth, and give them a good coating. And so that's what we do, how we spray it and take care of it. 
Okay, it's real important, as I said, to make sure you get the bottoms too, because a lot of times a pickle worm, they will lay their eggs on the bottom. And when the worms first start coming out, they're going to come from the eggs, and that's where they first appear and start coming out. Um, you also see them a lot around the flowers, so we make sure we spray both the inside and the back side of the flowers. Okay, for the solid form, the powder form of the BT, one of the things I recommend you do is you wear an N95 respirator. These are the dust masks that you can get and pick up. I would wear those just because of being the dust. Uh, it doesn't irritate or anything. It shouldn't be harmful to humans according to the instructions or directions, but anytime there's a dust in the air, I always would recommend that you wear this. And again, for applying this, you just kind of squeeze and you can see the powder comes out. I kind of wasted that a bit. You want to spray it closer to the leaves and underneath. We mostly use this when we're dealing with our corn plants. Uh, when we're dealing with our squash and our pumpkins and our cucumbers, we mostly deal with the liquid form of the BT. So that's how we use this. That's how we mix it up. If you have any questions, please go ahead and forward us your questions. Like us if you want. Subscribe to us. We do have a blog. We're going to be updating that a little bit more. And uh, we have a Facebook page. So go ahead and check us out there and please submit your questions. We get an awful lot of questions about applying neem oil and the BT, as well as the pickle worm, since we did the attack of the pickle worm our first year here on this property. We seem to have it pretty much under control. We had a great harvest this year of our squash and our pumpkins. And so we're looking forward to continue to get a handle and keep the pickle worm under control here. So again, have questions, submit your questions and comments, and we really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy gardening.